Over the past few months, I have shared with you a few children's moments looking at my garden. We started with the plants really small, but now the plants have grown to be quite big. Now the reason I keep coming out to my garden is because the Bible talks a lot about gardens and compares them to things in the Bible to help us better understand Jesus, God, or our faith. Now today, I want to show you one of my plants. It's the zucchini plant that I showed you a few months ago, and it's huge. It has some large zucchinis on it, and I have eaten some, but now I'm growing a few to see if I can grow the biggest zucchini for the Western Fair. Now today I'm showing you some of the big plants in my garden because it reminds me of a parable. It's a parable of the mustard seed. So my plant started with a zucchini seed and it's bigger than the mustard seed. The mustard seed is so small and it grew to be even larger than my zucchini plants. It grew to be as huge as a tree. Now when Jesus talked about the mustard seed, he was comparing it to the kingdom of heaven. In Luke 13, 19 it says, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds perched in its branches. Honestly, the kingdom of heaven started really small when Jesus came to earth, but he started telling people about God, about who he was, and about the kingdom of heaven. And he told his followers, and he told his disciples, and when they believed, they shared with others about who Jesus was, and the kingdom of heaven continued to grow and grow and grow. So when I look at these plants in my garden, it helps me think about how God's kingdom is growing and I'm glad that I'm a part of it. Now, if you're not part of God's kingdom just yet, I encourage you, think about being part of God's kingdom. And if you have questions, ask your family or send me a message because I would love to hear about how God's kingdom is continuing to grow and grow and grow.